I love this story. Yeah. Your dad yeah. was very upset with you that yeah. you left school, right? Because yeah, yeah. you wanted to, you wanted to produce, you wanted yeah, to. My write. family, I come from a big, big family that's really big on education. Like, yeah. I'm first generation entertainer in my in my whole line of blood bloodline. So you know what I'm saying. So they were he was, not excited. He was he was, <laughs> he was really adamant about me finishing school. One because I didn't made it yet. Yeah. Two because you know what I'm saying he he didn't mind me doing music, but he was really bent on me you know finishing school. He owns a university. Yeah. So you can. He owns a university, university yeah, so you and can... you didn't stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> so you so. So you can imagine, and my mom's, uh, uh, oh my, my God. mom was a college professor, so. Oh imagine. my gosh! I think they, I think they're also scared because they want you, whatever you want your kids to do, you want them to be successful in it. And yeah. In our business, it's not it's that hard. easy to be successful. So, you know, um, we kind of made a deal, where I go to school like two weeks out of the month, and the other two weeks, I can be in the studio and then do what I want. <laughs> How did that deal work out with the classroom? Because you just so, so okay. and then the, the, the deal also, um, you know, my dad is a very successful man, you know, yeah. very wealthy. So I was like, ah, right, you gonna you gonna give me some bread for my music? I <laughs> love you so much. You're like, you set me up. I will do this. Yeah. So that that was really the deal. But the thing is that my music was always good. You know what I'm saying? And he knew that. So the more I was going away for two weeks, doing the music, dropping videos, my music was getting. Bigger. And Bigger. Then, yeah. So it got to a point where I was a distraction to the class. So I'm like, yes. No. I love it. Yes, I've made it. <laughs> yeah, like I was a distraction to the class. So I'm like, I don't even got to leave by myself. They they telling me to get out. You know. What I I'm love it. You know. So after a while, then I I kind of had to do like a per time class type stuff. Yeah. And then I was getting too big, and then he got mad, mad. I'm talking about he see a billboard of me doing a show. The show going gets canceled before I even get there. Oh my God! He has that Hardcore. type of power. Yeah, that type of power. What a power! You know what I'm saying? Man. So it got to a point where everybody was being scared to book me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? This I'm, is a movie. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, this is crazy. Your life is a movie. This is crazy. So at that time, I had a song that was like, and at this time, I had a song probably like was like top twenty on the charts in Africa, but then the next song I made went number one. Like the president, oh, of, the president. Yeah. yeah. The president, the president <laughs> of the country, my song was his ringtone. So like, after that, I was, after that, You're like, like, I am not showing up for class. <laughs> so, sorry, bro. <laughs> so eventually, though, you know, I went back and I, I did finish, because uh, I only had like a year and a half left. So eventually, yeah. um, I did finish, though. I love that your dad, though, he's seen you like being unsuccessful on Billboard. like, no, I'm going to shut that down. You, yeah. you made a deal. Yeah, you, you made, made a, deal. a deal. And now he's the biggest fan. I love that. He's the biggest fan. <laughs>